Hi and welcome to MB Tech TV where we like to help you find affordable products faster. Now, Samsung are renowned for great audio products and they proved their worth with the Samsung Galaxy Buds. And when they announced their brand new Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, it was something to get really excited about. But the only big thing was the price tag. Is it possible to get great sound, a comfortable fit and easy to use from a Samsung Galaxy Bud Plus clone? Let's find out. So in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Bud Plus clones, which have been sent in to us from our friends at eardots.co. There will be a link in the description for you to go and check out when you have a chance. So let's take a deeper look and have a little look. Here it is. Uh, as you can see by the packaging, uh, they've gone all out. Looks just like the actual products themselves, um, which from looking at it, I think these actually might be the boxes themselves. So they've got little silver stickers on them, which I'm, I'm assuming, I think once you scratched it off, they probably have Samsung underneath it. But in terms of a clone, you know, they, they've gone right into it because you can see you've got the Buds Plus, got it on there. We've got all the lovely shimmer. You go onto the side, you've got it. And then onto the back, apparently so. This is 11 hours playback time, two-way speakers for a rich sound, uh, triple mics for clear voice calls, and and a uh, Qi compatible wireless charger, which is uh, one of the other elements of the Bud Pluses, which I really, really like. So let's jump into the box and have a little look. So when you open the box, you're greeted by all the normal kind of features that you would expect, really. So on the inside of the lid, You've got your paperwork, interchangeable tips, USB-C charger, and the actual buds themselves. So as you can see with the buds themselves, they've come now in this kind of glossy feel, whereas the uh, their predecessors were more of a uh, they were more of a matte kind of finish, which I have got some here. So uh, so these are the originals. So as you can see, it's got that matte kind of finish, whereas I think this year now they've gone for this really kind of glossy color, which feels really nice it feels in terms of holding it, it feels really really comfortable uh, so i am going to compare them quite a bit to the original ones throughout in terms of little bits and bobs here and there uh, so on the originals there is a tiny bit of weight which you in my opinion makes it feel more genuine uh more I don't, like you're paying for a certain product and it's going to be sturdy and it's going to be strong and you kind of get that with that but the first thing you notice with the bud pluses is, is that they're, they're a little bit on the light side which can have its ups because if you have them in your ears i do like a bit of a lighter headphone that's why i like apples because they feel lighter in the ears um, but they're a little bit lighter now these do come in a couple of colors as well you can pick them up in black blue and white so again, a bunch of different colors for you to choose from. Hopefully something out there that will suit you and you know go with you. So what they've done is they've sent us this lovely blue color, which I've never seen before. It looks really, really nice. I do like them. Uh, but the moment of truth, let's take them out and have a little look. Now, when you look at them, they are just exactly the same as, let's have a look at the originals. So they're the original ones, which are in white they are absolutely identical so you can see as we go round it these are obviously your interchangeable tips there and your wing tip at the back so they've got them the, the uh, charging points there which of course sit within the case itself uh, you've got your sensors just on here and then of course you've got the headphone itself there so you can see that they are absolutely identical they look exactly the same. I would say the originals weigh slightly more uh, than these ones do, but that's the point I was saying before, because when you have them in your ears, it, for me, sometimes I do find the original buds are slightly heavier, so you do have to kind of mess around with them. They hurt my ears after a while, whereas if they're a little bit lighter, obviously then they're gonna be more comfortable in your ears to wear. So these are both of them. Look at that, and they look great. A great plus feature of the earbuds is the ability to simply quick pair using Bluetooth 5.0. They connect to both iOS um, and Android devices seamlessly. All you have to do is simply open the case, open your Bluetooth, find Bud Plus, and pair via Bluetooth, and you are away. It's as simple as that. So I'm gonna show you literally how 
easy it is to connect. So I've got a spare device here, I've got an iOS device, let's boot that one up. Uh, I'm straight into Bluetooth mode there. Open up the earbuds themselves, and then you should see it appear on your device list just here. There it is, Galaxy Buds Plus. Give that a tap. And that is how easy it is, and that is how quickly they are connected. So let's close that back up, and let's see how quickly they can connect up to it. So when you open it up, a matter of seconds, bam, and you're straight into it as well. So, And that's what you want from a set of headphones. So, and it also has features that you know from its predecessor with the touch functionality. So you can simply tap once to pause, twice to play, three times to skip a track and so on. And I'll show you how easy it is. So if I, for example, I'm gonna go onto YouTube here, let's have a look. Now I know a brilliant uh, YouTube channel. I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna open the case that should connect straight into uh, the device itself. Let's make sure it has the headphone icon is on there. So let's put them in. So I've got them in. So as you can see the videos there, tap once, video starts to play. But then if you also had audio as well, um, if you had Spotify on there or if you had um, music on the device itself, then you can use all those other touch functionalities, which is always a added bonus. So let's talk sound quality, because of course, anything to do with the headphone is it's about the sound quality. They can look great, they can do all these different bells and whistles, but ultimately you're putting these in your ears and that's what you really, really want. Now, what I do find with clone products is, is that the, the in terms of the audio quality, it's really high toppy, there's hardly no bass, no drive, anything like that. So if I can find that within them, then for me, that would be a bit of a winner. I don't know how, how do you feel about what kind of what is your preference in terms of your earphones and what you want when you listen to stuff uh let me know in the comments as always we always love hearing from you uh, so let's say for example um let's go on to a song there so i'm going to put the headphones in and let's give it a whirl so i've got them in they seem to be pretty loud as well so so far Okay, so I am actually genuinely really, really impressed. The, the bass quality on it is just right. It's not too heavy. It's not too, you know, not too laid back. For me personally, it's right in the middle, especially listening to a track like I was then. And it's that nice balance. So they seem like they've managed to get it's sort of right when it comes to this in terms of the audio levels and all that kind of stuff and the balance and the mid it just seems to be right now again this is just my opinion um but i love headphones i don't know if you've seen our show uh, but we've done loads of clone headphones before in the past um and they're actually these are some of the better ones that we've had on the show before now one thing that I, apart from the good sound which is what you want from a set of headphones um these are ipx6 sweat resistant so perhaps when you do go back to the gym or your home training or you're running you don't have to worry about it at all now things about not worrying now one thing that i do get is when it comes to things like these you want them to last for when you're commuting when you're traveling um, because of course we want them all day we don't want to be constantly charging them and worrying about it well with these you get five to seven hours of talk time in one single charge with an additional 24 hours reserve within the case itself so you know you're not going to be caught short so perhaps if you have to take a commute to work either train perhaps you cycle to work or even you walk then i think these would happily cover you throughout the day so i think that's one element you should never have to worry about now with them if you are familiar with the samsung uh, galaxy bud range you know of course there is a voice assistant uh, or voice they are voice assisted or they have that sort of element built into it that facility uh, and that does come with these as well so um it is just your normal gestures once they kick in so you put them in and just like you you normally would uh, so for example hey siri can you tell me the weather tomorrow please there we go 
and it's talking to me in my ear what it sees on the screen as well. So perhaps if you're going somewhere, you're commuting, you're wanting train times, you can speak to your voice assistant and it'll tell you directly in the buds themselves. And that's on an iOS device, so it'll do exactly the same over on Android as well. So that's something else that you never have to worry about. So what's it like making calls on the buds themselves? Uh, Quality wise, it's not too bad. Um, it's, I would say the originals are a lot better um, in terms of the call quality what, on both sides, what you hear and what, and what they hear on the other side as well. And here is an example of what you can expect from the microphone quality on board these. So this is it, the call quality of the Galaxy Buds Plus. So this would be the kind of audio that you would hear if you was making a phone call with them. What do you make of them overall? Do you think they're passable? Let us know. So, not as you as you heard, then they're not too bad. They are they're passable if you're making phone calls and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so that's another little tick box off there that they're actually not too bad. Uh, another feature that you can find on the Galaxy Buds Plus and you find them on this clone as well is the ability to use the earbuds independently or simultaneously. So I don't know if you're like me, if you ever say for example doing decorating, um, I always used to have one in um, so in terms of the battery power and then I used to take it out and put the other one in. Uh, well you, they operate now either independently or simultaneously so you have that option there to take them in and out. Now if you were looking up at possibly picking up one of these for yourself, uh, don't you worry because there is uh, shipping wise, um, shipping is really quick and it is worldwide. Uh, here in the UK, bearing in mind the current situation, the current climate that we're in at the moment as well, uh, this took about a week to get to me, a uh, week, week and a half to get to me here in the UK. So it may be quicker depending on where you are, but of course there is fast shipping there as well. Now there is one reason why I work with eardots.co or at least kind of showcase some of their products that they send to us is because they offer something which I have never seen in a company ever before. They offer something called this forever warranty. So if you used to lose, break, damage them in any way, shape or form, you will get a replacement like that. So you just simply pay, a, I think it's a 15 or $20 um, admin charge and then um, or which is like an admin fee to process all the, the postage and all that kind of stuff and you get another set sent to you straight away now i'm not i won't i'm not gonna lie to you you know i love you as an audience i'm not gonna lie to you you may find them cheaper elsewhere but in terms of the quality and what the actual products that they have and then to add that on top of this uh, warranty as well you've got yourself a brilliant package so in terms of these would you get them so the only downside is that they don't work with the Samsung Galaxy wearable app, the Galaxy Bud app, which is a real shame, but maybe that might be something that could come up in future releases. We just don't know yet. Uh, but overall, they're a great set of earbuds. They're small, they're compact. They look exactly the same. If you was wearing them, personally, you, you wouldn't have a clue. Um, you can put them in your ears straight away, doing the, shite, uh, the old shake test. They don't come out, they're nice and sturdy in there, and they're light as well. Um, not only that, can you charge them by USB-C, you can also charge them up wirelessly as well using a Qi wireless charger. So I do have one here. Let's uh, pop that there. Of course, let's give it a whirl. So you can, you pop it on, and there you go. So overall, great product, sounds great in the ears, light, compact you can get the forever warranty with it delivery worldwide and you can pick yours up from ear dots's website for 61 pounds and there is of course a link in the description for you to go and check out when you have a chance so go and have a look uh, but if you want to check out more from ear dots we've done a few reviews of their products and all you need to do is simply click the link that you can see above Go and have a look, go and consume some of those products and uh, go and see what you make of it. But as always, if you want to check out more from us, you can always head over to the website. It's mmbtechtv.co.uk. And of course, we've still got merchandise on offer, so go and have a look, go and see. Uh, but until next time, from me, it's bye-bye for now.